Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're talking all about brows. So I actually filmed this video the other day and realized I forgot to film like an intro and a conclusion. I just jumped right into the brow routine. So in this video, I go over maintaining really hairy, bushy brows. As someone of Puerto Rican descent, I have a lot of hair. I have a lot of hair everywhere so it's constantly like plucking tweezing and just maintaining my brows just to keep them in shape so i go over regular maintenance i also go over two different ways that i like to style my brows one with a powder and then one with a pomade so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of tutorials and if you haven't already i hope you consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video and let's jump right in Okay, so the first step to any brow routine for me personally is just brow maintenance. I have a lot of hair and I have so much face hair, like I have to shave my legs daily, like it's just, it's just a lot. So when it comes to shaping my brows, it took me a long time to find like a routine that worked for me. I used to go out and get my eyebrows threaded like every other weekend. It was costing a lot of money and it was a bit of a trip to get to the mall where they did it and sometimes they did them too thin, they did them too thick. So I tried to thread my eyebrows at home. I actually learned how to thread my eyebrows on YouTube. I'll link a few videos below that really helped me and I got to the point where I could actually do them. So I was doing that but they did take a while for me to thread them and I was... <sighs> Thank you phone. So it did take me a little bit longer to do my eyebrows like that and I was really looking for like daily maintenance because I used to do that like once a week or every other week. So this is my little eyebrow grooming set. It was just a cheapy little like $5 kit I got like at Kohl's and like their checkout line. It's supposed to be a travel kit but it works really well for me. I keep my thread in here for threading if I still want to do it. I do it every now and then but it's not a part of like my normal routine got like a little brushy thing in here. I use this for trimming my brow hair. I'll show you how I do that with the scissors. The scissors are right here. They're just cute little small scissors. I used to use like big just like regular scissors and don't do that. Don't do that. It's like dangerous. Get yourself some small scissors. Sewing scissors could work too. Just make sure you're just being very careful when you do that. This also came with a face razor that is like the most helpful thing in the world. This one got a bit dulled out. So I went to Sephora and I picked up a pack of three. This was like $8. You don't have to get them at Sephora, but I was already there and I was looking around and I didn't know they sold these. They're from the Sephora online. So they're gonna be in the part of the store with all like the, the Sephora brand makeup. And these are really good so far. And I do like that you get multiple in a pack. And last but not least, my tried and true trusty tweezers. These are some old tweezerman tweezers. I keep them in a little case with the like little plastic tip on it. I keep the little plastic tip right there on the edge just to protect the blades right there. I actually got mine sharpened a couple of weeks ago. If you didn't know, if you own a tweezerman razor, they do free sharpening, but it does take a while for you to get your like tweezerman tweezer back. But I think it's worth it because this is like the best tweezer that I've ever used. And I've tried so many other tweezers, like just if you have a lot of hair, if your hair is thick, if it's coarse, get yourself some tweezermans. And I would recommend having two pairs that way that you could alternate whenever you send one in for sharpening. I really only send it in for sharpening like once or twice a year, just when I can tell it's getting a little bit dull. And it takes about four to five weeks for you to get it back. But the sharpening is free. You just have to go online, fill out a form, print it out, you ship it in, they sharpen it, and then you get it back. So let's zoom you in and show you how I do my maintenance. Obviously, I'm already wearing face makeup, but I don't have anything on my lids or on the bottom most part of my eyebrows. Excellent. Super zoom. So the first thing I do is brush out my eyebrows. And I tend to do most of my maintenance underneath the actual brow. The top part, I've already got makeup on so you really can't see it. But for above here, I really only tweeze if I have a, like, a really thick hair or hair that's really out of the way. For the rest of my upper part, I just use my face razor. So I just kind of trim it down to where I like the shape. And then I do the majority of the actual like maintenance underneath here. Cause I feel like this is where I get a lot of hair and this is where I could really change the shape of your eyebrow. 
So after brushing it up and out of the way, I can clearly see like where I have some spare hairs. So anything that is big or thick, I'm going to go ahead and tweeze right now. I do normally do this in front of a magnified mirror, but for the purpose of the video, we're going to see how well I can do. <laughs> Once I'm done tweezing like all of the big hairs that I can really get, normally I'm left with a bunch of like small, thinner hairs that I can't really grab with the tweezers. So that is what I will go in with the face razor. Now, disclosure, you are putting a sharp object near your eye. So just be very, very careful. If you're new to this, wouldn't recommend going in with this right off the bat. I know you're really not supposed to put this here, but it's really the only way that I can keep all of my hair maintained just because I have so much of it. So just be very, 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 very careful. So what I do, first I just clean up the tail like this. Now that the outer part is cleaned up, what I do is brush all the hairs up again and hold my lid up just because you see how like meaty it is right here and how my eyes are hooded I really need to stretch that up to make this part flat in order to get the rest of it so I'm gonna do this as I hold it up and I'm doing my best not to bring this close to my actual eyeball <laughs> And then when you're done, you can brush that out. And that takes care of the majority of the hair underneath the brow. This makes it so we just have a nice smooth surface to work with eyeshadow on and then also just keeps your brows maintained in their shape. From here, you can see a few of the hairs up here are just longer than the rest of them. So this is where we're actually going to trim the hair. The tool that we had before, this is where this little brush comes in handy. I do brush you through and lift it up a little bit. And then just trim. I don't I try not to trim too much, just enough to get them to brush into a nice shape. I, you never want to cut too much off because you never know how it's gonna look when it's brushed out. Like I try not to cut too much like towards the tail because that's where you want a little bit of a longer hair to create that nice looking tail. So brush this back out. And that's about as much as I trim. So for me, that brow is maintained and good to go for actual brow product application. I'm going to go ahead and do this side off camera and then we'll jump into the first way that I style my brows. Okay, and then this is our brows fully groomed. I really think if you have thick hair or if you have a lot of hair or if your hair grows really fast and you're having trouble like maintaining it, really dedicate a little bit of time like every day or every other day to just that simple maintenance. Because once you get it down, you can do it fairly quickly, but it's just the upkeep. Because I know for someone like me, if I don't touch my brows in a week, I have little caterpillars on my face. So I really think just, you know, less than five minutes a day, either in the morning before you do your makeup or at night after you're done. The best time to really do your brows is right after your shower. So whenever you take your shower, if you could just take a few minutes after that to maintain the shape and just the hair, I really think it'll really help you out. So the first way that I like to style my brows, it's a very beginner friendly, simple way for bushy brows like this. And all it takes is a little bit of brow powder, like this palette right here from the Brow Gal, or you could just use a dark eyeshadow powder, powder. Or you could just use a dark eyeshadow color, like the shade in my Pan That Pal. It's just a dark brown shade. If you can find a shade that is the closest to either your natural hair color, mine's fairly dark. But I feel like for a powder, a dark brown works best instead of a black. 
Whereas where it comes to a pomade, I feel like a black works better for me than a brown. So it's really just about experimentation and seeing what shades that you like the best. If you have darker brows like I do, I would really recommend using a dark brown powder. So all I do is just brush out the shape once more. And then this helps me see where my sparse parts really are. Oof looking a bit rough. All I do is take an angled liner brush. This one is from Sigma. It is the E65. And I just take a little bit of the powder on my brush. And all I really do is like stamp it on my sparse area. So stamp as opposed to brushing it. For a powder, you really don't want to brush it through if you have thick brows because the, the product is going to get lost. So you're just going to want to stamp 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 and for powders I don't really take them onto my um, tail right over here because I feel like for a powder it doesn't look as natural as a pomade does there so I tend to keep this in the middle of my brow and for me this turns out into a much more casual brow so that is where I will stamp that product and if there is still some empty spaces just keep stamping just keep stamping, just keep stamping. What do we do? We stamp. Okay, and from here, I also leave this part open as well because I do go in with a different brow gel. So that's all I do with the powder. Let me go ahead and do the other side real quick and we'll jump into brow gel. All right, so now that all of our powder has been applied, I like to go in with a brow gel. You really only need one brow gel. Personally, I like to use a tinted brow gel for the inner part of my eyebrows right here, and then I use a clear brow gel over the whole brow. So I'm just taking my Ulta Brow Tint in deep, and I'm just taking a little bit of product and brushing it through just the front part of my brow. Okay, now that the inner part is all filled in, I just go in with a clear brow gel. The one I'm using right now is from NYX. This is the Control Freak Brow Gel in clear. Just brush this through the whole brow, making sure to shape the tail. Normally that takes about a minute or two to dry, but that is the entire first way that I like to style my brows. Okay, and then this is zoomed out, what the brows look like when they're done. From here, I would go into eyeshadow. I do like to use a thicker eyeshadow base. I'll probably take a paint pot and then just clean up the undersides to really make them look nice and crisp. But that is way number one. Okay guys, so for way number two to do my brows, I like to use a pomade, and I like to use the ABH Dip Brow. I have the shade Granite now, which is the black shade. I also have the dark brown shade. I didn't like how that looked with my hair, because my hair is closer to black than it is to dark brown, and the dark brown just looked a little too light on me. So I just keep that in mind whenever you're picking a color. And if you can, try to try it on at the store, because that's really the best way to see how it's gonna look with your actual hair. So once again, we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup. I've, I'm filming this not too long after the first part of this video, so I've already cleaned up everything on the bottom. So we're just going to clean up on the top of the brows real quick. So let me zoom you in real quick. Okay, so as you can see, I do have some spare hairs up here, but nothing too big that I would really need to tweeze. So what I like to do is just take my little face razor like this and just clean up a little bit on the top. But you never want to take too much off the top. Like you always want to go for your major shaping and everything from the bottom up. So you really only want to take a little bit off to just maintain the shape. So just like this. And really that's about as low as I'll go on the actual brow. If I have like spare hairs up here, sometimes I'll just clean that up a little bit, brush it back, get any peach fuzz, any spare hairs. And that's it. Like I said, most of the actual maintenance is gonna happen on the bottom half of the brow. Perfect, so now that we're all cleaned up, it's time to go in with the pomade. 
So I have the double-sided brush from ABH. You don't need to have this brush, but I really like how small... You don't really need to have this brush, but I really do like how small this angled... The angle on this brush is, and it really just works really well in my brows. But really, any small angled brush and a spoolie will do you well. Okay, so we're gonna brush the hairs up both sides and what I like to do is dip my brush in coat it a little bit and then I take the lid it's a little messy here but what I like to do is kind of swipe it once on each side so we got a lot of product swipe once on this side swipe once on this side and then once on the bottom I don't know why this happens to just get you the perfect amount of product. I got that tip from the Taylor. She did a brow tutorial like years ago and she just mentioned the swipe, swipe, swipe and it works. Like, cause it, it really keeps you from getting too much product on your brows. Cause once you get too much product on there, it looks a little weird. So now that we've brushed it up, I'm just gonna start from the bottom. And I start in the middle of the brow and I just follow my shape down to there. I don't like to take it out too far, but if you go too far, I like to do this way when I don't have any foundation on yet, so you can always just wipe it off, but that is, for me, a good length. So whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to comb through the middle part of my brow, just gently. You don't want to press too hard, you don't want any harsh lines, just gently, and bring this up just a little bit to the front of the brow. Once you've got the product in, take the spoolie and really just kind of brush it through. This is going to help it look a lot more natural. And then when you get to the end, just brush the hairs with the tip like that. So that is with the product in. Let me go ahead and do the other side and we'll jump to gel. Okay, now that we have product on both sides of our brows, I'm going to go in with a clear brow gel. This is really important because the pomade isn't really going to stick unless you put a gel on top to really keep it in place. The one that I'm using today is the NYX Control Freak Clear Brow Gel. And you really want to load up the gel on the spoolie and liberally apply it. And again, shaping your tail as you go. Make sure, no matter what gel you pick, that you pick a gel that dries down completely for this product. Okay, so while those dry, another really important tip that I didn't mention is that your brows aren't in a vacuum. You really don't want to do your eyebrows super zoomed in. You're really going to want to have a mirror of like a few inches in front of your face and do them while keeping the rest of your face in account because if you zoom in and do them, sometimes when you zoom out and look at the rest of your face, they don't fit in with your look or they're a little too bold or they're a little too gentle. You know, you really want to do your brows with your whole face in perspective because they really do frame your whole face. So this is the face with nothing else on but the brows. It's definitely a more defined, dramatic brow when you use a pomade. So I do like using this whenever I'm going for a dramatic eye look or if I'm going for a more like glam look as opposed to using just a powder. Again, I really don't worry too much if you have any spots underneath that don't look perfect because you can always go in and whenever you do your eyeshadow, just clean it up with either a MAC Paint Pot or another tinted base for your eyeshadow because then you can just clean up the whole underside make it look really crisp really clean and if you want you can also do that on the top with concealer really carve them out but i really don't feel the need to do that especially if i'm going to be wearing foundation or anything anyway because i'm just going to do the same thing with the foundation and put it right up there on top so that is it for way number two how i style my brows thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye